Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loads 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action. As usual here on the channel, a little bit of a frustrating day today. We did have a nice winner though at Utox. There was a game performance by Harry and Dan Scale and aboard Cabaret Queen and that one won really nicely on its chasing debut. Did drift out to 11-4 so we'll take that. Elsewhere I was a little bit unlucky. Musica at Nottingham was uh, held up and it met a little bit of traffic and it had to really get switched out to uh, make a challenge of of it and in the end it finished in second place going down in a fighting finish it nearly won but in the end unfortunately couldn't get his head in front marine one was disappointing at yarmouth but apparently the horse was reported to have bled and had a nosebleed so you can forgive it that one it always looked really sluggish in that race and i thought something must be amiss and it turns out there was and elsewhere at newbury dorado again similar kind of story to musica ran into a little bit of traffic never got a clear run was switched out left and then in the end it was in a photo finish for second third and fourth and finished in fourth place in the end just being beaten by whisker so a bit frustrating today but at least some of our horses ran okay and they made the frame but they just couldn't get their head in front but still we had the winner with cabaret queen so hopefully we can uh, get a couple of more winners tomorrow and start us off we go to new in the 245 with a horse here called days of heaven now this one is trained by nicky henson current champion trainer over jumps nico de boinville is booked for the ride tomorrow. This horse last time we saw it finished in a creditable fourth place at Utoxter and it's had not a bad career so far over the chase obstacles. It had been running a little bit on softish ground in the winter and I don't think that's really uh, its uh, forte. I think it really likes uh, the good ground and I thought tomorrow it should appreciate the conditions. Also as well Newton Abbott is a really sharper track than Utoxter and I thought that would definitely suit it and I thought if it could get to the front tomorrow and get an easy lead and bit put in a commanding performance it could be quite hard to peg back and i thought at seven or two tomorrow he could be a good one to get us off and running we then have to wait for the evening racing for our next election we go to the 650 at aintree decent card on tomorrow with a horse called pet true three to one best odds i've seen out there trained again by our favorite combination at the moment which is dan skelton and harry skelton riding tomorrow now this horse uh, finished third last time we saw it at Aintree behind a horse uh, called Indian Temple which finished second and that went on to frank the form by winning at Perth a couple of weeks ago in a really decent race and I thought really Petri put in a good performance that day also as well the yard had been in flying form and I thought maybe Petru after a little bit of a layoff beforehand would come on for that run and really was the one they all had to beat tomorrow and I thought three to one that wasn't a bad bet to have there we then go to the next race at Aintree for the third selection in the 720 and we're going with a horse here called Cause de, Cause de Jour now this one is uh, 13 away best odds I've seen out there trained by Ian Williams who's a dual purpose trainer Tom O'Brien but to the ride this horse used to be with the Skeltons but recently transferred to Ian Williams where it made a stable debut last time out at Kempton absolutely bolted up and was eased down to win by 16 lengths and would have won a lot more if it had really tried so it was a good performance that day it makes its handicap debut tomorrow and i thought of its current mark of 121 it was definitely off a low mark than it probably will show in future so tomorrow i thought that could be a banker bet it'll like the ground and i thought after its wind operations it's definitely going to come on and improve and could have a good uh, season ahead so for me that would probably be my nap bet of tomorrow we then go to goodwood in the 740 with a horse called gather a 11-4 best odds for the makers at the moment. I was there when it won at Goodwood last time in quite impressive style. And I thought tomorrow going into a handicap it could go really well. It beat a nice horse of John Gosden's called Sacred Path that day. Who I think will be an improver in the future and will be a very good a potential horse. Could be listed or group horse that Sacred Path. But I thought it was a really good performance that day in the colours of John Munn International. It's trained by Amanda Parrott, a good local trainer whose stable is starting to produce some winners now. Pat Dobbs booked for the ride. And I thought there was a, like to, uh, a lot to like about this horse in its uh, handicap uh, debut tomorrow. So for me, I thought it was definitely a good bet. So they're the selections for tomorrow's horse racing. And hopefully we can have a good day. For more uh, horse rating betting videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Lucky Loads 15. You can also check me out on Twitter under the same name, at Lucky Loads 15. That's all i got to say. Please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have some winners tomorrow. And we'll be seeing you soon.